but no, it isn't. Yeah, it says it's recording, recording on my screen now. Great. Well, keep our fingers crossed that it all works. <laughs> so far, it's been good. <laughs> Hey everyone at HostelManagement.com. Uh, today I wanted to share with you uh, some software or a website that I thought was really cool. And uh, Holly Roberts from Fox Brownie reached out to me and offered me, you know, like some photo editing. And she was mentioning that it was like really good for hostels because a lot of times we have that exploded backpack in a dormitory and you can't get it out of the image. You know, I don't normally like subject you guys to all of the sales solicitations. But Holly, I thought was unique because she's actually worked in a lot of different hostels around the world. So she understands what hostels are and understands what our needs are. Thanks for joining us, Holly. Thank you for having me, Darren. I'm excited, a little bit nervous and, and yeah, happy to get into it today. Yeah, so tell me about what you've done with hostels. Like where have you been in the world? I think you told me that you've been a lot of different places throughout the world and worked in hostels. Yes, yeah, so I think it was it was about July 2013. I packed up my life in Australia and said, I'm going to do this. I had no idea how people can travel long term, but volunteering at hostels is the key to it, actually. So I kicked it off with a job lined up at the Pink Palace in Corfu, Greece. So lots and lots of Uzo shots. Exactly. <laughs> Lots of toga parties. So you started at the Pink Palace. So you started at the Pink Palace. Right up there. <laughs> yeah. So I have a background in marketing. Um, so I sat. I started off there doing their social media and, and photos and promotion, and yeah, a lot of Uzo shots as well. <laughs> I was there for three months, and it's it's so beautiful there. It was my it was my first kind of big trip to Europe, hanging out, taking photos of the green seas and the, the pink rooms and everything else like that, and. Yeah, it was kind of my introduction into just how great it is to go volunteer at hostels to, to travel around the world. Pretty much from there, the opportunities just kept popping up. And after that, I was at uh, X Hostel in Bucharest, Romania. I needed to get out of the Schengen zone. So I went and hung out there for a while. A really cool place. Like the bars underground and super, super cool there. I really like um, Romania um, yeah. and, and for a lot of our viewers may not know, Hostel Management does uh, PMS software for hostels, very low cost software for hostels called Hostel Snap. And most of our original developers were in Romania. How, how cool is it? Like I, I so mostly stayed in Bucharest, but did a few little um, train trips around the place. And yeah, yeah, I would recommend it to anyone. I also hung out um, in a little bit in the south of Spain in Sevilla. Uh, I, next up, I went to Morocco. I was in Stoke Travel's surf camp in Morocco for two months. That was fantastic in um, Tagazut. It's just this little surf village. Yeah, surf every second day, do a bit of social media write ups on the side and, and yeah, I love That's Morocco. Right. I can't wait to go back. And I also ended up in San Diego for a little while. Oh. I was working at um USA hostels in San Diego. I was doing housekeeping there. I was in the gas lamp. I was yeah, yeah. downtown. That's a beautiful hostel. It is. They've done a really nice job there. Yeah, and actually uh, USA hostels, unfortunately in San Francisco and down there, they closed all of their hostels at the beginning of COVID. Really? And um, wonderful woman, Maria, uh, actually, I think has taken over that hostel as her own hostel. That's just what I've heard through the grapevine. So such a beautiful little hostel. It's like, it's got the perfect shape for a hostel, like the architecture <laughs> yeah. for a hostel. Yeah, it's really nice. And um, yeah, I'm excited to see where they come back, where they end up. Your email came to me at exactly the right time because I have a building in the city that I used to use as student housing we're in the process of selling it. It has these beautiful brick walls behind it. And then my real estate agent had me like expose a piece of the brick wall. And I was like, well, that's not as cool as just like doing the entire brick wall. I'm showing it right now. But um, they were able to just, you guys were able to just transform this wall from a plain old wall and just to a, a, into a brick wall. And that just, for a lot of buyers, it gives them the vision that, oh, I could do that. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah, I can think about it and someone can actually make it happen for me. And it's, uh, yeah, that's actually, that's an edit called virtual renovation. So it is what it sounds like. And you can just imagine someone wants to have that wall when they get that as their, their home or their property, they can just see, is it going to look like what I think it's going to look like? And then 
voila, there it is. Exactly. So anyway, you sent me these photos from other hostels that have used your services. And I was actually really kind of blown away at some of these photos and like how amazing Box Brownie was able to make these hostels. We all know like photography is everything now, but taking good photographs is so hard for the average person. And it cost a fortune, I've done it, to actually mm -hmm. have a professional photographer come in. But even then it's like, you almost have to hire models to come into your hostel who are ready to be photographed. A lot of the shots are just spontaneous shots, I find, that happen in the hostel just when people are having a good time. But then there's like, all of a sudden, there's like this big bottle of vodka right in front and center in the photo. And it's like, your eye just gets drawn to this one eyesore. It's, it's a great photo overall, overall, but it's just this one thing that you're like, oh, or the exploding backpack that I talked about at the beginning. It's like, oh, if we could just get rid of that. I was wondering if you could tell us about some of these photos that had been altered. So I'm gonna start at the clubhouse. So um, yeah, what we've got here, I can I can totally relate to what you were saying. I, I worked for for Stoke Travel, who have, it's all about budget. You can't always get a professional photographer, but you wanna get the photos up there straight away. And this is the most basic of edits um, from Box Brownie. This is the image enhancement edit. It's, it's $1.60. So budget conscious, we're all about that. I, that's, <laughs> that was the other thing I was amazed. It's like $1.60 is actually a hostel budget. <laughs> yes. Hostel owners can afford $1.60. Uh, uh, when I came back here and started working for boxbrownie.com and I, I was like, why did I not know about these guys when I was doing all this online travel agency stuff? This would have like solved so many problems for me. And But yeah, this is the really simple one is image enhancement. So you can see here with the clubhouse um, image, it's dark, it's dreary, it could have been taken on a smartphone, which it is not always to your detriment. And then we've just, we have a, a 17 step image enhancement process um, that we go through and then you'll see you can see then the enhanced image and just yeah, it's so much how better. much more appealing it looks and then this other one here is that freedom the hostels freedom hostels on the porch there yeah, yeah very similar thing you've got a dark image you you can't see the plants there as well you can't see the sky very nicely you can't even see the, the city in the background and they've just uh, done the, the magic that they do and have just made it look much more appealing and a, a terrace you'd like to go and sit on when the photograph pops it just gets people's attention. They actually engage with the photo so much more if there's just that vibrant, those vibrant colors and everything's well exposed. So this is the bathroom. Makes me want to be there. <laughs> so I think on the bathroom, maybe you added, uh, you add more exactly. contrast on that one. Exactly, yeah, just balance the white. Um, yeah, fixed up the colors there. That's a bit of a simple one, but you can just, yeah, comparing the two images next to each other, you can just see the, the difference that it makes. Yeah, this next one was my favorite one because we all have these things that just don't fit for our hostel. So like this Freedom Hostels on the outside, there's a, probably a flagpole and a lamppost and it really doesn't show the hostel. But nobody's yeah. gonna fault you, you know, unless obviously this flagpole was like right in front of their window and they're like, hey, that's not the view from my window. But if, when you look at this, it's just like, yeah, you can see there that they're trying to get, they're trying to show their whole hostel. They want to get the whole thing in. So they've had to step back, but then there's these poles in the way. Mm -hmm. um, and editors have just come in. They've done item removal. And item removal is the one that I just think about for hostels immediately. Like we've spoken about the the backpack on the floor, the t-shirt the sticking out from under the bed, the bed that's not maybe made perfectly. All these little things that you're like, oh, if only we fix that. They can be fixed and yeah. it just it just makes it shine that little bit more and if anyone was ever worried about transparency and stuff like that about you could just we we do it for a lot of our virtual staging and just saying this this room has been virtually staged just so it's transparent yeah yeah i don't think that this one would be a complaint but um obviously this is uh more than a dollar sixty though this takes no. this some time <laughs> <laughs> It's a decent poll. Right. <laughs> um, item removal is four dollars, so four dollars for up to two items, and then mm -hmm. over that it's eight dollars. So this would be like eight dollars to do. Uh, this one would have been four dollars, I think. There's just wow. the, just the two poles there that have been removed, so four dollars for that one. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, um, that's, and yeah, this is that's great. And this is a lounge where you've just did, done a color enhancement again. Yeah, so you can see there, There's that's another just straight image enhancement 
effort there, but the lights have been fixed up a little bit. And you'll also notice on the TV, the guys will usually put something there on the TV to oh, make I it see look like something's happening there. Yeah, it's a nice little trick. And the other thing is, is TVs always, they have this, they'll always pick up the flash and they'll always have this glare. Yeah, uh, and they'll detract. So this kind of adds a little bit more. Yeah, sometimes you'll actually see yourself in the in the tv the reflection <laughs> of the photographer yeah we get that a lot with photographers especially in bathrooms they're just standing there or they're they're doing this and so i i don't remove all similarly to image enhancement it's really good <laughs> uh this that next one is this also freedom hostess or is this a different place maybe it's just a restaurant uh this is the gb so this one's a little bit different this is a hotel in the uk mm -hmm. this one here so what this one is hdr image enhancement so this is where you take, you do your bracketing with your HDR images. Mm -hmm. You can, e either you've got a, a good camera that does it, or you can even do it on a smartphone now with a $10 app and it'll take your seven images and then it, our editors will merge it all together. The great thing about this is it means that if you've got an outdoor shot and an indoor shot, it's you're seeing what the eye sees. Nothing changes in the background here. Everything's in focus. Everything's in the right colors. Yeah. HDR image enhancement. So let me see if I understand this. So um, mm. the camera, and I, I have seen this as an option on my camera, it's mm. actually taking seven images all at different exposures. So for mm -hmm. example, here where in the background, when you look outside, normally that would be like overexposed because yes. the sun's out there and you, and you just, with the photo, it would just be white in the back. Yes. So you get that exposure so you can actually see out the windows and then inside, uh, if you ex have it exposed for the outside, then the inside would have been all dark. So yeah. you can get it all. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, you explained that so much better than me. Thank you. <laughs> that's all about exposure and getting that right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this one is a, um, a hotel. Mm -hmm. uh, Q, I think maybe Queen's Arms there. And you can just see just how dark that room was and and yeah you know, most people who don't know their way around a camera they're gonna take a photo that looks like that it looks closed yeah, yeah. <laughs> the place looks closed but you, uh, do, you don't really want to hang out there you're like oh i've come after hours oops a daisy yeah and all of a sudden um, you see yeah. all the warm the warm wood the wood wood floor is beautiful there yeah, and the colors of everything and just with a quick image enhancement. And yeah. and they, yeah, all of our, most of our edits are back within 24 hours as well. So from that to that, super quick. Yeah, you guys were pretty quick here. Um, and I, I just skipped down to something that must be a hostel where they're playing pool. Yes, the sleeping in backpackers. They have a lot of really cool images. They've they've got their, their hostel all painted off and it looks really, so you can, it, could, it could be a bit much for the eye to get it all sorted, but they've just done a, a yeah, even oh, yeah. that one out there with the pool and it looks like a fun place. <laughs> definitely, definitely. And there you just, the, the color just looks warmer. Looks a lot better. And they can also, like they didn't do it so much here because the, the pool water is pretty good as is. But sometimes if color's a bit off of the pool or you want it to, you prefer it a different shade, the guys can make that look super realistic and um, as, as you wish. Because mm -hmm. um, when people submit um, edits to our portal, they just put it in, it's super simple. They can add reference images, notes, all that kind of thing to make sure that they're getting what they were picturing and it's um it's 100 percent guaranteed as well so if you don't like it just say no 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 fix this please oh that's cool yeah yeah is there anything that you guys can't do <laughs> <laughs> no like, maybe not <laughs> like if i wanted to put a camel inside this room <laughs> yeah no, we definitely do that. We actually have a lot of people requesting um, for friends' birthdays or jokes or, or this kind of thing. We actually, I don't think it's up there anymore, but there used to be a section on the website for for such things. Just, oh, um, just weird and wonderful edits that people want to get done. <laughs> Camels uh, at pools, especially. Exactly, because you always have to have a camel at a pool party. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it brings the fun. So uh, why don't you tell everyone about this, like, free gift that you are offering the members on hostel management. So for everyone at hostel management, Darren's going to have a, a special link for you. And uh, we want to give you four free box brownie edits. So all you need to do is jump on our website through that link that Darren gives you. Um, and you'll be able to try us out, see if you like it, fix up a couple of those images that have been bothering you perhaps, and then 
and of course fall in love with us, uh, you'll get three free image enhancements plus a uh, data dusk edit. So our data dusk is, um, it's really popular with real estate and it's, it's kind of your, it's your hero shot. It's, it's also known as twilight conversion. We, we change this, we do all the image enhancement edits, but then we also change the sky to a, a sunset of your choosing. Because it's more expensive to get a photographer to come out at dusk. Yeah, like yeah, you can't. They, they come at one o'clock in the afternoon and it doesn't look as good then. <laughs> exactly. And you might end up with a really dodgy sunset after you've waited all that time, you've sorted them out and you're like, oh, the lighting wasn't perfect, was it? So we can sort the lighting out for you. Yeah, well, that that is so nice uh, that you did that. And you obviously were nice enough also to pay for the edits that I did for my homestay that I was selling. For the virtual renovation, and yeah. Yeah, and it was, um, so that was already generous. And I thought, okay, it's just going to be like this. And then, and then it'll be like, sell, sell, sell to the hostels. And what I liked is, is that no, you're like, no, any of the hostels that come to us, I'll give them some free edits as well. So that, I thought yeah. that was really, really nice. So it made me feel good about like doing this video to be able to share this with other hostels. Awesome. Yeah, no, so. I really believe that like through my experience with hostels and like, I've had a, I've had to market a hostel in Manly that was going through renovations and, and we needed to get it up on OTAs and we, we needed, and I was like, what do we do? We, we don't have a photographer there. We can't afford to do anything. And if I knew this kind of stuff was available, then I just snap would have been so much easier. So I, I believe that there's something here that can, can help people. And we want to give you guys something to, to have a go. You guys are going to be removing a lot of backpacks. <laughs> exploded backpacks <laughs> <laughs> little the, socks out everywhere <laughs> it's, well it's tricky too because you want to get the shot but you also don't want to touch your guests belongings just so that you oh. can get the shot so it's like you can actually take it because a lot of times the dorm room looks perfect except for that one guy who just yeah. left everything a mess sort of thing. i also think about the kitchens like the the communal kitchens is always food everywhere and as much as you want to make it look clean and tidy with everyone's stuff it just it's not always as, as easy in person i actually saw that i think one of your videos i saw they actually took the dishes out of the sink so there was a yeah. dirty dishes in the sink and they just like <laughs> the dishes disappeared i wish it was that easy at my own house <laughs> There wouldn't be signs plastered everywhere. Please clean up after yourself because Box Brownie don't come and do it. <laughs> exactly. Um, so you also mentioned that you were you wanted to do a little bit of a drawing. So we're trying to get hostel management, our viewers to be more engaged with our YouTube videos because more engagement increases the algorithm. It helps hostel management as a site overall. So whether it is that you're clicking on the like button or you're putting in a comment, YouTube sees all of that and then they say, hey, these hostels, they, may, they must be onto something. Let's start promoting hostel videos to other people. So it helps spread our cause as well. But uh, we were talking about maybe like a contest if people actually put something in the comments and sure. then I would do it, we'll do a random drawing and what would they get? 100%. Yeah. So um, anyone that comments on our wonderful video today, um, they can go into the draw to win uh, $50 credit with Box Brownie. So our winner, our random winner drawn will, I'll set them up with an account. They'll have $50 credit added to it to, to go wild on our edits. Oh, that's yeah. great. And so they don't have they can, to spend they can, it right they can away. Try out, they can try out virtual tours with that 360 virtual tours, um, virtual staging, the, image enhancement, item removal. That's just straight credit there. Oh, that's so great. Thank you so much, Holly. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks so much for joining us today and Thank explaining you. Box fun. Brownie. And I can't wait to see you at a hostel somewhere in the world when we're traveling I can't again. wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'm holding on. <laughs> can't wait to see everyone from hostel management somewhere in the world do another unconference and actually get together with other hostel owners. All right. 100%. All right. Bye, everyone. Thanks. <laughs> thanks, Darren.